asking for a little bit of grace and we are going to get better at being able to do this. Well, it wasn't perfect, but shutting off power for thousands of customers was necessary for public safety. That was the regional vice president of XL Energy you just heard talking about the company's decision to de-energize power lines during this weekend's windstorm. The planned outage impacted about 55,000 people, but about 100,000 more people lost power accidentally due to the damaging winds. Here is a map of XL Energy's outages right now. The company is saying these outages could could last into tomorrow or even later for some of the smaller areas. Many of you called our newsroom last night as well as today frustrated by the outages, so we questioned XL Energy about it again this afternoon. There are a lot of upset customers who say the energy company did not do enough to communicate what was happening and why. XL leaders admitting in today's news conference they could have done better. Even though the wind event at that 90 mile, 70 mile an hour winds was lifted at noon today, that didn't mean that your power was going to come back on because we had to patrol 75 miles of a line on one electric line, 200 miles on another electric line to make sure that it was safe to re-energize. And I don't think that we did a good enough job in making sure that our customers knew that it would take some time for the restoration today. So Horvath also saying in the process of restoring power, crews are going to prioritize what she calls critical customers like hospitals and jails before they move on to smaller blocks of customers. And one of those areas that's still waiting is in Littleton. Your reporter Michael Abeda joining us live from there now. Michael, families there are just worried about staying warm through the night. Yeah, you know, Kelly, it's uh, sunny out today, but it's not exactly warm. And especially when that sun goes down, you know, growing up in Colorado, just as well as I do, as soon as it goes down, those temperatures start to drop. Now, this is what we're seeing a lot here in Littleton. I'm going to step behind the camera and show you a lot of lines down. Now, this is not a... Uh, power line. I wouldn't get that close to a power line. It is very dangerous to do that. This is likely a telephone line, but we've I've seen this with power lines all over the city that they get blown down, the wires get frayed, and that's causing a lot of problems for neighbors around here. And it got really strong, I would say, around oh, 9 o'clock last night. Late Saturday evening, what was a windy day turned into an even windier night in Littleton. Gusts pushed over trees and nothing was spared from their fall. Fences, vehicles, and houses were hit, but maybe most importantly, power lines were toppled all around town, knocking out electricity to more than 150,000 customers. XL Energy crews and their partners spent Sunday trying to get their grid up and running again. I don't know. I can go sit in my car. Yeah. <laughs> Linda Hartman says she woke up to a chilly house. Her power went out around 1.30 Sunday morning. She has a small generator to run her fridge, but she says it's not enough to run her heater, which is unfortunate because XL Energy is now saying some Coloradans may be without power until Monday. That means people like Linda are going to have to figure out how to stay warm overnight. I thought about going to get my little camper, maybe, you know, hooking the generator up to that and be nice and warm, but... That's too much trouble. Down in the Roxboro area, this Safeway was without power, causing them to clear their shelves of anything perishable. Linda says Saturday's wind was like nothing she's ever seen before. But being without power isn't unprecedented for her neighborhood. In fact, it's kind of become a regular thing. At least it wasn't as bad as the last time we lost electricity when we had two feet of snow, which was a few weeks ago. She says she's just happy that this time around, it's a little warmer. So we're grateful. The sun's out, so it's not that bad. Now, another thing that I've seen you know, driving around town today is there are a lot of traffic lights that are still out because they don't have any power. So important to remember that if you encounter one of those, treat it as a four-way stop. In Littleton, Mike Lavetha covering Colorado first. Great information there, Michael. Thank you.